Miss Malaka Ghana is proudly brought to you by Uru, Abiyam Institute of Technology, Rosso Nero, and powered by Charterhouse. What do you value most? The crown, the car, or the money, and why? I think I value the crown. A young lady started the journey of a life-changing experience. She auditioned for the Miss Malaika pageant and three months down the line, she was crowned queen, winning the car, the cash and the crown. Miss Malaika Ghana, 2016, goes to Leah! And winning the hearts of many with her projects, her name, Leah Brown. This year, the life-changing journey begins for another young lady. If it happened to me, it can happen to you. This is a one-time opportunity. This is a life-changing opportunity. This year's journey saw girls coming from across the length and breadth of the country, hoping to be the one. My name is Kayla Mabrefa Inimel. I'm from Tapa, which is from the West. I'm here for the Ms. Malaika audition and I can see so many pretty ladies around and I'm hoping for the best. I'm from Cape Coast. I've seen a whole lot of beautiful ladies, but I'm not intimidated. I'm here for the kill. I have always wanted to be a queen and this is the time for me to shine. I am coming from Accra. I cannot wait to get in there. Woo! Out of the numbers, only 24 will make it to the next stage, boot camp. This is my first time and I hope I make it because I know it's not easy. Every girl here is beautiful. 16 ladies, one crown, one car and the cash. Who will be the next queen? People should look out for me, Alexandra, for Malaika 2017. I'm bringing nothing but the best. This is Miss Malaika Ghana 2017. You, you just <laughs> Tonight, the life-changing reality show Miss Malaka Ghana is back as over 400 young beautiful girls stormed the Tomrick Hotel for many reasons. So we're here at the Tomrick Hotel. It's all about Miss Malaka Ghana 2017. The auditions are here and as you can see behind me, loads of ladies came to be auditioned. And this year, there's something absolutely different about it to myself. And some past delegates will be cutting some of the ladies off for the semi-finals. If you're ready, I'm double ready, I'm double excited. Let's find out who and who will be making it and also how the ladies are feeling as well. Delegates have different reasons for joining this year's pageant. I want to do Miss Malaika because I want to inspire other young models like myself. I believe Miss Malaika Ghana will give me the platform and the voice to educate girls on teenage pregnancy. Yes, our girls have big dreams, but in the end, only 16 will be chosen to start the competition proper. This year, 16 young, beautiful, ordinary girls' lives will be transformed into beauty queens. Poise, confidence, talent, style and compassion are all traits of a queen and our delegates came in with these. What Danny so say? Langa la langa la so say? Ah, so say? It was grueling as the day went by. The numbers reduced as some of our delegates made it to the next stage and for others, it was the end of the road. So the first huddle of the auditions are over. It's been a long, tiring day. But guess what? Our ladies will be meeting the main judges tomorrow for the semi-finals. I'm excited. My fingers are crossed just to find out who and who will make it. It's Miss Malaika Ghana 2017. We'll be back. It's day two of our auditions, the semis, and it's time to meet our judges proper. But before that, this year, the public was encouraged to tag their favorite lady on social media as many times as possible to earn a spot at the semi-finals. Eight beautiful social media queens and their spot. Good luck, ladies. It's time to meet our judges. 
This season, our girls will be scouted by our very own William Asiadu, who's been on this journey for many years and will be celebrating a decade next year. So I've been on this show for almost 10 years. In fact, next year will be 10 years. And the experience has always been very exciting. Ms. Malaga has been big in terms of uh, the confidence of the ladies who come on board, the pageants, their intelligence, personal appearances. Because, of course, by God's grace, we've done some good job in there. So basically, ladies between 18 and 25, I'm expecting them here. As somebody say, in bulk. <laughs> She was the carrier of bad news last year and sometimes viewed as the main judge with a sweet personality. She's bubbly, fun, beautiful inside out. The beautiful Jocelyn Dumas is back. My position this year is quite high. Uh, considering last year was very competitive, I'm expecting to see a lot more beautiful, intelligent, eloquent girls coming through this year. The advice I have for the ladies when they come in is be your own kind of beautiful. I think the problem we've had over the years, in my opinion, is the fact that a lot of these girls come in, uh, yes. you know, made up, heavily made up, and sometimes you miss, you know, you you you, you miss the beauty because all you see is a lot of makeup on someone's face. Um, so I think that every girl that comes here should be their own kind of beautiful. We're looking for beautiful, intelligent, um, eloquent young ladies. So you can fall in all three or two or one of the categories and you'll still make it because it's Miss Malaika. Joining us for the first time this year, she won Miss Malaika Ghana in 2011, coveted as one of our favorite queens with her memorable story of a love for dogs. Jerry Partington has joined the family. This is my first time on the Miss Malaika show coming as a judge because the last time that I was here, I was actually one of these girls and I experienced what they're going through now, all the nervousness, the tension, waiting to be selected, sitting here throughout the whole day. So it is going to be a very interesting experience. I'm not just looking at beauty. Uh, beauty comes with brains. So I'm looking at intelligence, poise, physical appearance, eloquence. I think these are really important in, throughout the whole competition. So these, these are what I'm looking out for and hoping that whatever they bring, it can be built upon and they can be groomed well throughout the whole process. These three amazing individuals have come together with one goal, to find the next Miss Malaika 2017, and it all started at the Tom Rick Hotel. 74 delegates selected to the semi-final stage of the competition. The journey has just begun, and for the next 10 weeks, we'll take you through an amazing journey spearheaded by me, Berla Mundi. I will be the pilot on the flight that will take you through an amazing and life-changing experience where we'll see the young grow, the shy get confidence, and the beautiful blossom. I'm excited about this journey. Our judges are already settled in, and as they get ready for showdown and for the next round, of auditions, let's meet our first three delegates. Capture. Capture life. What do you look out for when checking into a hotel? Cleanliness, amenities, food, safety, and more. Tomrick Hotel has it all covered. From our luxurious rooms to our fine dining restaurants, swimming pool, fitness center, business center, conference, and more. At Tomrick Hotel, we understand hospitality and we go the whole nine yards. Call reservations today on 0302 510 307 0302 510 382 or info at tomrickhotel.com. Locate us at Shiashi Lagos. Avenue in East Legon. Call us today. We welcome you to an amazing experience. Tomrick Hotel. Hospitality redefined. Our hair deserves the best. 
and the best is Optimal. From root to tip, Optimal provides the ideal hair care to straighten and prevents fall and breakage. Optimal is made from fruit extracts and shea butter. It makes our hair more resistant, brighter and 10 times softer. Maximum protection for all hair types. Optimal, the relaxer expert. hospitality, Kenya Airways is now more than ever the pride of Africa. Kenya Airways, connecting Africa to the world and the world to Africa. <laughs> 